Hey guys, Nicole here with Nicole Does Stuff, and I caved in and bought another month of Loot Crate because they sent me one of those $5 off codes. I think the theme was Cyber this month, so it wasn't a theme I was super excited about, but that coupon did the trick. So let's see what I got. Oh my, this is practically overflowing. They changed their box style up a little bit since the last one I got. This side's kind of shorter. I guess it saves cardboard, or maybe this folds into something really neat. This is freaking huge. I cannot resist opening this first because it is so big. Holy crap! Look at that! It's a freaking Terminator skull, and it's like actually a decent size. It says it's half scale. That's really cool. Uh, I confess, I have not kept up on all the Terminator movies, and it's been years and years since I saw the first two. I might have to rewatch them now because this is just totally awesome. Sweet. Oh, and they put a t-shirt in there this month. Oh my god. Is this a... <laughs> That's cool. It's an Optimus Prime t-shirt. I wonder if this is some sort of mashup, but this is really sweet. I probably won't wear it because I'm not a huge Transformers fan, but I might be sending it my boyfriend's way. Let's uh, try to find the card and see what it says. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's so much stuff in here. Wow. This is a good month to come back. Oh well, I'll keep looking for the card. Here's the pin for this month. Oh, that's right. They do a book. See, it's been too long. Tell me what I have. Okay, there's the info about the Terminator skull replica, and that's an exclusive. And then... Where's the t-shirt? Here we go. Uh, exclusive Prime t-shirt. Oh, maybe it's a Tron thing, actually. Because it says they mashed up two sci-fi films. Tron's the only other one I could think of with the way they did the, uh, the outlines and stuff. So that's cool. Okay, we got a little zippered pouch with a carabiner on it. This might become a new makeup bag see if it has any significance. Uh, this is also exclusive and it glows in the dark. This box is just full of exclusives this month. Sweet! And now I am in the laundry room, the only totally dark place I could find in the house. And hopefully you can see this. This is the bag that is glowing and it's really cool. The backside you can't really see because it didn't get as much of a charge. Holy crap! Oh! Oh, no way! It's a Borderlands Zero mouse pad and it's freaking huge! Oh, I wonder if they did different characters because, like, Zero isn't exactly my favorite, but this is still awesome. Ooh, referring to the book. Yeah, they only did Zero and it's another exclusive. That's sweet! Uh, I'm using the Zelda map um, mouse pad that I got from, I think it was uh, Nerd Block or Arcade Block several months back, but I might have to swap it out for this one for a while. Oh, this is heavy. What is this? Why are you so heavy? It's a Terminator brain chip keychain. And as you heard me say a few times, damn, it is heavy. And this is, this is solid metal. This is not plastic. This has some good weight to it. It's a really cool little replica. And we're not done yet. They put a ton of stuff in here. Okay, we have a patch from something I don't recognize. So, looking... Future Replicant Corporate Logo Patch. AB Emblem. Um, and, of course, it doesn't say what it's from. Oh, I'll have to look it up later. Or I could ask the roommate. Hey, roommate, what's this from? Uh, Adventures of Owl City. <laughs> he doesn't know either, so I don't know. I like owls. I thought replicants were like, weren't they in an anime? I don't know. Replicants? Yeah, it says Inspired by the sinister biotech company that made some of our favorite film replicants. 
This custom embroidered patch can be sewn or ironed onto lab coats, robes, shirts, or backpacks. Wear it and you'll be, quote, more human than human. I mean, I don't think it's a Blade Runner thing. Oh, it is a Blade Runner thing. Is it a Blade Runner thing? Yep. I do not remember this from Blade Runner. I guess I'm going to be re-watching some older movies like Terminator and Blade Runner. And then we have a mysterious envelope in the in the bottom. This is heavy. Ooh. Okay. Huh. It's a uh, like a Target practice poster. Let's see what the other one is. That's the same same thing on both of them. So that's cool. I guess one to give to a friend. And what are you? There we go. And a series I have not seen, but I keep meaning to get around to. Battlestar Galactica Cylon Target Poster Set. Oh, and these are from Quantum Mechanics. That's really cool. They're the ones who did... Um, I've got their set of Firefly like Art Nouveau posters, and they're really cool. Huh. Nice. And uh, I do have Nerf guns. Because I'm a steampunk, and what steampunk doesn't have modded Nerf guns? Oh my god, we've still got more in here? We have stickers. <laughs> These are fun. Let's make sure they're not from anything. See, this is why I, I stopped doing Loot Crate so much, because a lot of the themes were things that I wasn't familiar with. So it's super embarrassing. Like, I feel like somebody's going to take back my nerd card. Um, exclusive Nerd HQ sticker set, The Nerd Machine. Spread the word of nerd culture with these awesome stickers from our friends at Nerd HQ. Overall, I am really happy with this box. Ooh, ooh, what is this box doing? They're always so creative with it. Just take it apart and fold it the other way and see what happens. Whoa. Whoa, we have the flaps are like okay. Maybe I'm not supposed to take it apart. Maybe maybe they're just supposed to open up like that. <sighs> I'm so confused. Okay. Didn't notice, but there is a web address right here that tells you how to assemble it. So then you go to that. And it involves cutting, which is why I couldn't figure it out. But it looks like it makes a little display for you to put your Terminator head on. So that is pretty sweet. I think Loot Crate did fantastic on this crate, even if they aren't things that I'm particularly familiar with. The quality was definitely there for the items, and that's what I always look for, is that you're getting your money's worth because the items themselves and whatever... Uh, fandoms they're from are completely random. That's the whole idea of doing a blind box like this. So I'm very happy with it. I'll pass some things on to other people, eBay, others, and keep the things I like. Thanks for watching. See you next time.